Well, hello guys, and this happens to be the second weekend in a row in which I have off. So, what's this? A new video. Yes, if I can get these things done weekly, I might actually, um, I don't know, have what can be called a channel anymore. So, obviously the gameplay is King of the Hill, and uh, I start off pretty badly, but do pretty well in this one round. I kind of came in sort of late, and then the second round just wasn't worth watching. So, actually, um, uh, I'm trying to get my overall commentary times down a little bit to make them a little more, a little less intimidating, less of a commitment to watch whenever you click on the commentary and it's like, oh, 15 minutes long. Unless the guy is absolutely fascinating, which I am, but a lot of people who are just looking at the video thumbnails might have forgotten that and therefore have made poor choices with on their viewing selection and watch like 10 really bad, vapid short videos versus my one amazing one which would be a much better investment of your time if you d can do math and uh, measure the overall quality of life and enjoyment of your time spent on YouTube. Just guarantee you have 10 minutes. There's a 10-minute video by Medhas. Watch the 10-minute video by Medhas! Don't spend precious minutes of your life watching some two-minute video of cats yawning or some pathetically dull 240p 1v1 with bad, painful scream on the background just because it had a catchy title, Best Nasher Player in the World or whatever, and then you click on it and realize it's completely not true. And, or, some catchily labeled but ultimately disappointing video about the seven things most likely to kill you, and it turns out to be super dull, really obvious, and who even knows how accurate it is? Have you ever wondered that? You, you get, watch these little factual videos on YouTube, and you sort of sit there and listen to the facts, and you, in the back of your mind you're thinking, that doesn't sound quite right. And basically all you're doing is you're taking some ra some random person who you don't know at all's opinion for granted, and they probably did their research in some Facebook comment thread, or may maybe something that they heard from from their equally moronic friends. But I, if you hear something on my channel, obviously well laid, well researched, really polished, and I, I probably did a peer reviewed study on it before I, I at least at least read several peer reviewed studies before. I went and posted on my channel because obviously your young impressionable minds are very precious to me and I hate to have them misled or misrepresented in any way. And while I'm sort of joking, I do really value getting things right and I hate when people uh, post things without knowing all the facts. So I do try. I do try. Just watch the video by Medhas and then that'll save you all kinds of time. You'll probably learn something and maybe laugh. And laughing is good because it reduces stress and improves quality of life. So. All that out of the way, uh, actually that w was completely pointless because my whole point what I was going to say was that I'm trying to reduce my um, overall times uh, on my commentaries so that they're a little bit more clickable. People like to click on them more, so uh, that's that. Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys have been following my series of uh, grinding for 3.0 and that basically the progress on that is that I'm just in the slow grinding mode. Um, I don't want to set up private matches to do it. So I have a whole list of stuff which I can do in public matches, which is why I use the Retro Lancer occasionally, uh, and use, try to use the pistol as much as I can, and things like flame grenades and all that stuff, it just comes. It comes with time, so just got to keep forging ahead with that. Have you guys noticed something? And I'll, I've noticed this. Um, very frequently love songs, or songs in general, reference people's eye color. And it's always blue eyes, especially country music. Oh, wow. They always blue eyes and blonde haired, and honestly, not like I find it offensive, but really, you're marginalizing a whole massive segment of the female population. As a matter of fact, the majority of them, uh, and like I guess showing that that your ideal of beauty is this blue eyed blonde haired thing, which is like perpetuating the blonde bimbo overall preference of Americans everywhere. All that to say, I feel like there should be a little more of a healthy. More healthy representation of the overall population in your songwriting. So that's that's one random point. And yeah, and did you guys read about the lady which was in the Walmart parking lot found dead for three weeks? So in uh, I think it's Elkton, Maryland. There is this part obviously a Walmart parking lot. The lady pulls in. Uh, the surveillance camera shows her moving from her front seat to the back seat of the car. And the car sits there, and no one and no one thinks anything of it. And then a couple days go by, and still no one's thinking anything of it. And then, okay, three weeks go by. Finally, someone says, wow, there's a real bad stench coming from that car. Walks over, the lady's laying in the back seat dead. And she's been there for three whole weeks. I didn't know how that happens. The, 
I mean, Walmart parking lots, they're big, but they're not like the size of the universe. You can notice the car, which never moves. Uh, maybe they did go over there and look at it, and then just looked like the typical Walmart customer in the back. Sort of sunken cheeks, uh, vacant stare, and they, they, they didn't, they just thought someone was taking a nap. I don't know. So, that, that was the, the news story that I was just shaking my head at, like, how on earth did that even happen? There's... It must be a, a new low and and just general observation and but maybe it was one of those cars that, have you ever seen those cars where like the windows are completely filling up with garbage and like maybe she's just really well camouflage in there and they they, 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 they thought someone abandoned the car and the parking lot was big enough they didn't feel like going to the trouble of calling police or getting it towed and who knows if you try to tow it and, like the front bumper would come off and the rest would just this all fall all apart it, it'd be like accidentally splitting open a of, of rotting sack of, of garbage and then the garbage sprays all over the car me, like, parking lot. So it's easier to sort of let it sit there and hope it drives away on its own. That might be their thought process too. But um, anyway, there seems to be like a random discrepancy in Walmarts. Um, some Walmarts, it depends on where you go, are really classy. Not, okay, classy is the wrong word. But pretty upscale and, and pretty nice people go there. They're clean and new and, and the, the neighborhood's all perfect. And some Walmarts are just like Oh, I don't know. It, it's every person who is a ne'er-do-well wants to mix up meth in the bathroom is there. It's gotten to where it, there's no headline that surprises you about Walmart anymore. Just for a, for example, you have a couple which shoplifts a bottle of KY jelly and proceeds to have sex in the aisle. They got arrested. You have also at Oakton, Maryland branch, a, a guy goes to sit on the toilet and covers a, so discovers that someone has covered the entire seat with super glue and he's super glued to the seat and has to be surgically removed. Or you'll have some random Walmart customer who gets in an argument with someone, dumps a whole bottle of bleach on them, and 19 people go to the hospital. Or someone tried to sell their baby for $25 in the parking lot. It's like, this stuff... Uh, you, you could do a whole multi-commentary just on the random instance that happened at Walmart. There's like three separate people trying to mix up meth in the Walmart bathroom. And um, one of my, my, my favorite was the lady who managed to steal a, sca a flat screen from Walmart and escape on a motorized scooter. <laughs> it's like, not only do they have, have random incompetent people stealing stuff, they, they must just have absolutely n complete incompetence in catching them as well. Anyway, so um, coming to the end of this little video here and... If you guys have any topics which you really want to hear me discuss, leave them in the comments, and I will see you next time.